Well, hello everybody. It's Monday. It's time to shave and we're just going to kind of do a normal shave today. But I do have one last thing from that care package that I haven't used yet. The Arco Men Shaving Cream Sensitive. So I'm going to try that out today. Going to lather up with one of my signature brushes and I'm pulling out the old 1930s Barbasol Safety Razor that I haven't used in a long time. And I love this design. You just unscrew the bottom and then boom, cap comes right off. And then I'm going to put a Feather blade, which I've used once already. I'm gonna put that right there on the cap. And then you put it back down on top and start to screw it on so that it engages, see that? And then screw it all the way down, making sure that the blade gap is even on both sides, or the blade is even on both sides. And make sure, yeah, that looks, ah, it's close enough for jazz, as they say. The old Barbasol from the 1930s, the old safety razor, and I'm going to be talking about the giveaway for these bad boys right here. Leaf sent me a couple more razors. Their new thorn, the twig thorn razor. So I'm, going to, I'm not going to do those today. We'll do that next time on Friday, and I'll tell you about the giveaway where you can win uh, one of those. And I haven't figured out which one I'm going to keep. I have a black one and then a copper one. And I wanted the chrome one, but they sent me the copper one. Uh, but thanks anyway for sending me to, and I think I might keep the black one, even though I already have the kind of shiny black one. This is the normal twig that I use. And that one's got like a matte finish, which I actually kind of like. So, all right, but let's start shaving. I took a shower, I did my hair, and I'm gonna put some hot water on my face. And you know, I'm not gonna use hot water today because it's hot outside. We were just at the park and it's almost 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So yeah, drank a lot of ice water when we got back home. All right. Let's get the Arco out. Thanks again, Fred, for sending this to me. I have not tried this. I think I smelled it when I first got the box. Oh God, I almost, almost squirted up my nose. Anyway, we're gonna try this out. Let me get the brush ready. Synthetic signature brush from DS Cosmetics. All right. Put some more water up, just cause. Just cause I wanna dunk myself in water. I'm so hot right now, even though I took a shower. Pardon me if I begin to sweat. All right, here we go again. I'm just putting a ton on there. This is probably more than I need, but I'm gonna just have fun with it. Purple. Yeah, just like Mace Windu's lightsaber. All right, now I'm gonna smush it around a little bit on top, add a little bit more water to get it going. There we go. So Austin was in the news uh, this past weekend because there is a street downtown called Sixth Street. Now, our labels, are our streets that go east to west run from 1st all the way up to, I don't know, like 45th, 50, 51st Street, I can't remember. Anyway, but downtown, there's a street called 6th Street, and it's kind of like Bourbon Street. It's a party district, mostly for young people, college students, bachelorette parties, and not for guys like me <laughs> of my age. Even when I was, you know, young in the 90s and the late 80s. We went to 6th Street every now and then. But anyway, there was a mass shooting, which is an unfortunate uh, new trend in our country. But I'm okay. Everybody's okay. Luckily, there were no fatalities, though there were some people very badly hurt. But uh, I had some people asking me if I was okay. Yes, I am. I, uh, that happened at about 1.30 in the morning. And something you should learn about any sort of you know bar slash party district, wherever you are, don't be hanging around there when the bars close because that's when everybody's drunk and raring to fight for whatever reason. So thanks for your concern. I got a text from uh, girl Alex that said, I heard about a shooting. Are you all right? He's like, yeah, luckily that actually is very close to where I work. It's only about a block away from where I work. But uh, whenever I walk those streets in the daytime, it's okay. I'm always situationally aware. I'm always aware of my surroundings. Keep my head on a swivel all that jazz, which I recommend you do too. There's this crazy YouTube channel I've watched called Active Self-Protection. And uh, he's a guy that teaches self-protection and, you know, gun handling and stuff like that, you know. And uh, he's always showing videos of these, you know, incidents going down, usually like in Brazil or something where like, there'll just be someone walking down the street and this motorcycle will pull up with these two guys and they'll have guns and they'll try to steal the guy's cell phone and then, Shots are fired, but anyway, active self-protection if you want to kind of be become more situationally aware of your surroundings. Keep your head on a swivel. Even if you don't carry a gun, you know, just just 
don't be walking around staring at your phone all the time, especially if you're, you know, downtown in an area where someone might take advantage of you. That's my advice to you. Just pay attention to what's going on around you. It's that simple. It's that simple. Let the authorities take care of any problems you might have. And if you do have to handle it on your own, then try to de-escalate rather than escalate. That's good. That's it. That's it. That's all the talk we're going to do about that. Let's talk about shaving, shall we? So yes, the Leaf, the folks over at leafshave.com sent me a twig, which I love. I love the normal twig. And this one is the thorn, so it's a bit more aggressive. So I'm looking forward to trying it on Friday. And then I'll give it away. I'll give one away. I might give both away. Depends on whether it's so different from the, the twig I already have. If it is, then I'll just give them both away. Because I know there's a lot of people that want to try it out. And, you know, $85 for one razor is nothing to sneeze at. That's, that's, that's a good chunk of change. Ah. All right. This Arco is good. It's fine. It doesn't... It's like just the Arco stick smells bad. To me. To me. Not to everybody. And, uh... But this one... It's so such a mild scent, it barely has a scent, and maybe that's part of the sensitive skin nature of it. But uh, yeah, it, it lathers beautifully. Arco is just good. It's cheap and it's good. So if you have access to it and you don't mind the scent, you should go for it. All right, back to the Barbasol razor. These things are hard to find from what I understand. I was able to snag this one off eBay uh, last year for a very good price. I'm not the type of guy that spends a lot of money on razors if I don't have to. And you don't have to either, unless you want to. I'd probably save that money for uh, guitars more than anything. Guitars may be something nerdy, like Star Wars, I don't know. Like if they came out with a real lightsaber. One that actually worked, which unfortunately... I think physics lets us know that we can't have that. But Disney is coming out with one that looks very close. They announced. So that's cool. <laughs> this is getting too nerdy. Is this too nerdy? <laughs> You're probably right. That's okay. I, I embrace my nerdiness and my love of Star Wars. I embrace it and I'm proud of it. Don't let anybody tell you different. Don't let anybody tell you you're wrong for liking the thing you like. Oh, what is this, dad advice day? Sheesh, just be quiet and shave, will you? Man, Mr. Advice. Mr. Fix-It. Yeah, I could, uh, We do, there's a couple of pools here in town that are spring-fed, so they're cold. They're like 72 degrees year-round. And that would feel good right now to jump into one of those babies. Barton Springs Pool and Deep Eddy Pool. And there's lots of spring-fed rivers in this part of Central Texas. It's great, love it. If you haven't been here, come visit sometime soon, won't you? Come say hi. I'll get you an ice cold lemonade. And some barbecue, I'll get you a big red. By a show of hands, how many people have had a big red before, a big red soda? It's another one of those things, kind of like Arco. You either love it or you hate it. You say, oh, it tastes like bubble gum, or you love it, you grew up with it like I did. I love it. Goes great with Mexican food, goes great with barbecue. If you can get your hands on a Big Red, it's a very sweet soda. It kind of tastes like, it's got its own flavor. It's like a, a red cream soda. It doesn't taste like bubblegum to me. But anyway, ice cold Big Red and a spring fed pool on a hot summer's day. And if you can't have that, at least you can have some menthol when you shave. Ah, this, this razor is uh, medium to slightly aggressive. Like, I can feel right now, I can feel the uh, where I've shaved, so I need to kind of lighten up a little bit. I got a couple of nicks, nothing too bad. But this is a, I love the design. I love how you just twist the bottom of the handle and the top pops off. Nice to have a two-piece rather than a three-piece. Of course, I always wear one piece. I'm very modest, you know, at the pool. I, I'm kind of hoping that those uh, big black woolen bathing suits from the 1920s come back into vogue for men and women. 
You know what I'm talking about? Google that. Google 1920s bathing suit and you'll see everyone wearing these. It's like a one piece jumper, like a, a, what do they call that? Not a jumper. That's what they call sweaters in the UK. Um, like toddlers would wear them. It's like a shirt and shorts connected, but it's a tank top and it's made out of black wool. And that was the swimming, swimming costume, bathing costume of the day. Swim trunks. Of course, they weren't swim trunks because they were a shirt and shorts connected, but they were made out of heavy black wool. So, you know, they must have soaked up the water and then taken forever to dry. <laughs> they probably stunk if you didn't dry them properly and they were damp for too long. But anyway, I'm hoping those make a comeback. It seems, it seems like it's about time for that. Because if you got a dad bod like me and you're not, uh, you're not, you know, Joe six pack in that way, you're not ripped. <laughs> if you're a 50 year old guy and you're trying to, you know, cover up some stuff, it might be a good deal. Of course, now you, now swim shirts are, uh, are totally fine. Everyone wears swim shirts, they don't get sunburned. Man, I wish that was the case when I was a kid. Oh boy. All right. There we go, Arco, fine. Good stuff, good stuff. Barbasol razor, pretty good. Pretty good, not my favorite, but it's still cool because it's so rare and it actually says Barbasol right there in that little bit. And now dry off and let's put some Cremo Post Shave Balm, cooling mint, refreshing mint, whatever. No. Uh, and then I'm gonna go camp out underneath the ceiling fan for a while before I have to go back to work. All right, let's see if those little nicks have stopped. You know, sometimes it'll seem like they've stopped and I'll walk away and then later I'll look and they've come back and they've dried and now I've just got little dried blood spots. <laughs> More than once has that happened. It's like, oh boy. Hope nobody thought I was a weirdo. Weirdo. Hope no blah blah. Never mind. Let's dump. Don't be don't get too silly. I'm talking to me. Alright. I think that's it. So yeah. There we go. That was kind of a normal Monday shave, but coming up on Friday, I'm gonna shave with one of these, and I'm gonna give one away, and I might give both away, depending. You never know. So I'll, I'm probably gonna give away the copper one just because I like the look of that black one a little bit better. But thanks for joining me, everybody. I hope you had a great weekend. I hope you have a good and productive week. And uh, start that thing you've been putting off. You know, that thing is like, ah, I'll, just, I'll do it on Monday. Start it right now, because then next week you'll be like, I'm so glad I did that. All right, that's enough. Advice day is over. See you later.